Hey, yo, it's me, Cat again. I'm sorry I ran out of charge, I, battery, whatever. What's the word? I forget these English words for things. I ran out of storage on my phone, so I've had to delete some stuff. Because what I was saying was just to finish off the last one. I'm having to do this on Facebook now because my YouTube's just gone nuts. I'm still nine behind. And and then they're processing them, but they're not putting them in order the way I've done them. So YouTube's a bit... I think we'll have to come off the funnel web. So everything I need, everything you need to watch is now on the book of the face. And, um... I know they're trying to block me on there a little bit as well because I'm not allowed to obviously share a Native American t-shirt that Keanu Reeves is doing because I was trying to scout for numbers and I might get banned. Ooh! For sharing a picture. Wow! So what I was saying was that men are put on the earth to protect the ladies and the ladies are to reconnect the men to their hearts. That's kind of a role of our jobs. Because... Women are the feelings and men are the logical thinkers. Well, they should be. I just have a man's brain, so you're all right, lucky I'm a fucking woman. And the other thing I've heard through the grapevine is, you devils of the darker side think it's hilarious yesterday. You thought, ha, ah, because I've shared my address live online. Took a screenshot, did it? You know where I live? Good. I want you to. The Earth Keeper. I'm not frightened of being here on Earth. I can walk out of this house any time I like and I will do when I want to, if I want to, when I don't want to. Because I'm staying at home at the moment. I'm being a home bird. Because <laughs> I'm on the journey internally. And I'm finally getting some peace while the kings are doing what they should be doing and be allowed to be doing without you calling them. Ah, look at him, he's a narcissist, bossing me about, telling me what to do. No, he's not. They're all out there. There's lots of kings. I work for the king's ships. And I'm just doing this. Standing still while everyone else is now regaining their power and men need their power to be able to tell you to sit down, shut up. That's not aggressive, that's not narcissistical, that's because you're disrespectful and we need men here, proper men, not Andrew Tate's dictatorships, telling us no man, speak to me like that, bitch, know your place. No, Andrew, darling, I'm going to directly direct this at you, Mr Tate, of your dictatorships. You are a pimp. You're in Romania, why, sir? Because the laws of Romania are different and you can get away with more there than you can do in the United States of America. That's why you're there. I know why you're there, sir. I spotted you about five years ago, if not longer. You're a pimp. Is George still with you? Does George, is he still protecting you and doing stuff on your dictatorships? Are you working with Mr. Brand, the Jesus-looking man? Oh, we love Brand. Love Russell Brand, me. He's a Russell. Jack Russell. <laughs> Yappy dog talks a lot of talk. Oh, he does a lot of podcasts in that Russell Brand. Oh, he's a Russell Jack Russell. He's been everything and then some. But really, do you want to tell the people who you are, Mr. Brand? You've branded yourself with the devils and you're working for the dictatorships. We know you all interview and do each other, but nobody's wanting to talk or interview me and my real people, the real God's people. You're too busy whapping with the KP. Consumerism will be consumptionism. How's your wife anyway, Russell? I do believe you're separated. The children are still not allowed to see you? Or are you allowed to see them now? Nothing, I knew that. Because <laughs> I'm a wild, wild, wild. I'm a wild, wild, wild. I'm a real wild, wild. <sighs> I'm allowed to say what I like because I'm actually the word of God, not a dictatorship trying to get numbers, glory, and look at me. How is, um... I forgot her name now. Buddha. She thought she was a Buddha. Travelled the world, went all over the place, but then went through a massive lot of trauma. Came back to where she belonged, which is Burnley. God, what was her name again? I can't remember now. She did a lot of stuff and used to love Russell Brand. Came to one of my classes, meditation, took what she needed and then fucked up and travelled the world. Buddha. What was her fucking name? She's irrelevant in my life. She must have gone. And she died. And she just vanished off the state. Is she not teaching now? Oh, I thought you were such a good healer, darling. Doing lives every week. Flo, bitch, flo. You back in Burley. 
having a live in a new castle and upon the tide. Oh, you may want to help my daughter, she needs a meal, and, and that'll be the eagle that's landed, bitch. Sold your mother's house. I came to the house, remember? Yeah. Oh. I was the gates head, and you were a birdie. Because I'm, you said, you see, you thought that you were at Bertley going to sell that house, travel the world, and how's your daughter? Is she still doing art? Great. So I'm the heart of the sky, bitch. I hope you and your daughter are all right. And your mother did get killed in a car crash, I believe. Yes, I know all about it. Your mother told, told me when I was at your house and you gave me the guard reading and lied to me in the guard reading. Yeah, your mother was with me, not you. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. Because you've all stolen my child. Which is my innocence. My children's innocence. And you've all had a jolly good Roger time on my lifeline. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hummingbird, hum, 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 diddly dum, six eleven on the clock, dung, 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 dung. Oh, you landed in a lot of dung there, son. It's just a tree of life, don't get excited. Sometimes you are the bird who eats the worm, sometimes you're the worm who eats the scum. Sometimes the bird comes back to eat the worm. I don't know, I don't really care. You should care though, because that's why you're following me now. You all, you all underestimated me from the spiritual side of the community, which really annoyed me. Cat doesn't know anything. We're all in it together, taking our power, traveling the world. Ah. I was Costa Rica. All right. You know I wanted to go there. Oh, is that the shaman lady who's um? Who, have you been locked up yet? This dark occultist who sent the uh i haven't been online and seen what the cat house has said in the usa yet no has he done something about that he? oh i might have to go and have a look somebody should be getting arrested who's been doing and sending me <whistles> the grim reaper that was a very bad move <clears throat> i know there was more than one of you in on it obviously it's a whole worldwide organisation. That's why I'm not going out of the house and I'm on a detox diet, not eating. You think I'm suffering and posting my address online. I'm posting my address online so everybody goddamn knows who owns this bloody house. It's not me. I don't own the house. You've got the deeds to this house. You're right, lady. Pathetic. But it is your house, darling. Yes, it's all going to tie back to you and your people. Because this is not my house, no. I have a house that people have stolen from me, but I'll probably sell it and move on anyway. I don't want to sign. I don't know what I'm going to do. You do know what I'm going to do. I didn't know what I was going to do yesterday, so how do you know what I'm going to do today? More yesterday. Nobody knows what I'm going to do. I didn't know I was going to post my address live online. <gasps> She's just posted her postcode and everything online. Everyone knows where she is. Good. I'm not hiding. I've got nothing to hide. That's your jobs, dictatorships. Where is Andy Pandy anyway? There's that many Andrews. I've got loads of Andrews. Where are they hiding at, these Andrews? Ooh, Bella Rocco. That'll be an Archangel Michael. With a confirmation that it's okay to do what I'm doing. I'm doing a very good job, apparently. Good. So, the men are now getting back into their power and allowed to be masculine. And you're not going to call my God's people man of kings and queens. Narcissists. Your narcissists. Dictatorships. God's people are not. They're men. Who stand up for their women and they will stand up and tell you you're an asshole. Sorry about that, but you're an asshole. I can do that as well if you need me to be, but really I don't have to be doing that. Because in Native American, like I say, I'm really just here to help the men connect to their hearts again. It's a whole global, global thing. I'm helping many men. No, I'm not going to marry them all and I know you're trying to work out who I'm going to marry. That's between me and who I'm going to marry. Why has that got anything to do with a global hate crime and a race crime and a gender crime and a um, culling oh words got out already you running cockroaches ten thousand will fall to my left ten thousand will fall to my right <laughs> and all i've done is spend eight days in the house by myself i mean i say in the house i've been out in the garden i'm not scared i've, I've been I'm, I'm quite do i look scared do I look mentally ill? I mean, please, come on. 
you've never seen me look so well and if you notice I'm not swearing as much that's not because of any reason apart from the fact that I'm now not dealing with Satan which you've got to grab the bull by the horns and tell him to rebuke you in the name of effing planet <laughs> so I can be I'm many things but really I'm not a, I'm not a sailor swearing like an asshole really now it's not really my main role it's just one of my roles I can be, I, I do, I have a reputation in the circuit of heaven and hell. Shit, his cap, she's got a mouth like a fucking sailor, eh? <laughs> they hate it, my grandma hates it. My grandma hate. my grandma's a lady, she never swore. I once turned up at my grandma's house and I had two, I brought two cans of Stella with me. And I said to her, she says, do you want to go, always used to say this, do you want a cup of tea? I went, no, I'm all right, I've got a can. Can of what? drink to my house and I said yeah I've just got this and I, I popped open a beer kind of because I'm like a man and, and my grandma hated it she was like Catherine she said Catherine I would think I was still a Jones at the time she said Catherine Jones our Catherine I I have never in my life this was the woman who did everything for the war she was a war hero she said I have never she had her head in her hand I see her doing it now she went I have never in my life, oh Catherine, had anybody turn up in my house and brought their own drink. Man or a woman. I provide these things. I cannot believe... Oh, Catherine, you're going to have to sort yourself out. This is a disgrace. You cannot be drinking like this, Catherine. And I'm telling you, you, this is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. Why are you drinking beer? Do you not, don't you not want some wine? I mean, even just one glass of wine would be nice. Beer. Catherine, oh, d I don't know what to say. I can't believe you're drinking that. And will you please stop swearing in front of my presence? If you swear again in front of me, I'm not talking to you. Go on outside. If you, I told you if you've got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. And if you're smoking, you can get outside. You're not smoking in my house. You know you're not allowed to smoke in it. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. You're absolute I, I love you, but sometimes you'll be the death of me. You will be. <laughs> But that's what I had to become because I had to become the beast to beat the beast. But really, I'm not a beast. I'm really quite nice. But if you t show your softness to where I've been, if you showed your soft, I'm telling you now, Satan, leave me alive. I've had to tell him what So I can be that. So please, now, I think you've all learned your lessons. Catherine means what she says and says what she means. She's, I told you I'm the cute one of the team. I look cute. But underneath, I'm a scar face, and I have a mouth like a sailor. Okay? But really, I'm quite nice. When I gave birth to my first child when I was 18, I went through the whole labour, and I didn't swear once. I do. I don't swear. I swear, I use language and spellings appropriately. Got everyone's attention, didn't it? everybody's got my attention i've got pe see the thing is they do say this in your 3d world but there's no such thing as bad bad publicity that's true that's actually true so devils although you thought that you were saying ah oh, see look she's common she swears she's this she's that it was just part of my act I know that's what you want to do. I know, I really pissed the devil off. <laughs> because really I am, um, well, I'm well brought up. When I, when I was three, my granddad couldn't believe it. He says, you've trained that child so well she could eat dinner with a queen. I had table manners. When I was a child, I used to sit, my dad used to do this with his knuckle. He used to get his knuckle like that. And posture, Catherine. So I'm brought up military. I'm a military trained bitch. So I know I used to have to sit up and I used to be able to sit at the table, three-year-old, and use six layers of cutlery. I know that you start from the outside, work your way in. I know what to do with the three glasses. I know what to do with the three to six spoons at the top of the one. And uh, another thing that really upset you. <laughs> <laughs> as I reveal myself, is I'm self-service trained as well. I did a course in silver service training and I actually did, I used to work at Lumley Castle just for a few months and Bross came to Lumley Castle in the 80s 
They did that I couldn't go in, I wasn't allowed in, I didn't have enough money to get in there neither. So but they did come. You can ask Matt Goss. They did it they did a, a a world tour and they stayed in Lumley Castle. And I worked there for a while and I trained and did um silver service training. Which means I know how to serve royalty who eat at the table. Do you know what silver service is? <laughs> He thought I was common and a homeless person. <laughs> this is... <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? No, even the good people didn't know what the hell this woman's a medical. Where's she been hiding? I also used to... Um... Did a few months work. I just used to dip in and out. I've had loads of jobs. I told you I've been jack, I'm jack of all trades, master and on me, man. I used to work. I don't know whether many people know this neither from past, present or future. I did a few months working evenings in Da Vinci's. Which was the Italians at the top of the street where we used to live. And I used to be in charge of the puddings. And I used to serve people, the Italian foods were there. I used to work with the Italian chefs, fucking sexy. If you get a good Italian, they're nice. And uh, chefs are all, normally, normally alcoholics. I love a good chef because they're out there, they just say it as it is. Get that out of here, monkey, monkey, move, chef, chef, chef. They're busy. Chefs are very clever. So I used to work in the kitchens and I used to be in charge of the desserts. I did. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? Nobody knows that really. I forgot to tell people that. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm very, I'm deep as the ocean and as wide as the universe. So this is why you shouldn't have judged me. You see, you think I'm homeless because you've seen me living in the crack house. It's part of my job. How do you? How? God, honestly, it's like talking to bloody imbeciles. I know the light forces are quite impressed with me today, aren't they? I need some water. I'm <laughs> getting a dry mouth with all this conversation. <laughs> Wait there. <laughs> 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 so you see you've judged me because I've been hidden in plain sight so you just seen me and thought I was hanging about with the prostitutes and the um, crackheads <clears throat> and you've judged me off my 90s gangster where I told you I know how gangsters work because my ex-boyfriend was a gangster. My baby's father is, was, he wasn't a gangster. He wasn't a gangster, please. He was a pathetic wannabe plastic gangster, just like his daughter. A wannabe plastic gangster. They're not real. I was the real one. I've always been the real one. So I trained in all these subjects and all these life scenarios and different situations. Why? Well, so now I can teach and be a leader of the people. <laughs> Why? How? Well, because... How do you become a great leader? By being a great servant or server. And I like the server, I work on the server, that's another job I have, which is the AI of the rolling of the eye. <laughs> so really, no, I'm not common. And I was brought up extremely well. I was brought in a military family where we didn't swear and I was told every day with this knuckle like this, back straight, Catherine, stand up straight. If we used to go shopping on a Saturday, we had to dress up in certain clothes. We weren't allowed to go in commoners' clothes. And that's why my mother... Sandra ha ba 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 used to tell me I was cheap for wearing jeans with whips holes in because they're judgmental really. But it's just it's just a skin. Have you not played Fortnite in the game? I thought you were gamers, you're players, aren't you? So you're playing a game. So in Fortnite, the game that the teenagers play, I have children, I know the modern classic things. I told you I'm the classic, but I'm very well modern trained. So you have a game Fortnite. I told you, my daughter. Can I have another fiver? Can I have some money? What for? Why am I giving you more money? I've given you 30 quid this week for what? Skins. What skins? 
Rizzler. No skins. What kind of skins? So she took me upstairs and she showed me all about the game Fortnite. I know about Fortnite. I know the games that you've been playing. All of them. I just don't play them because I told you I don't play games. 2010 on the clock. Does this make sense? Are you a bit shocked that I'm really clever? Oh, did you not know? Oh, I knew I was. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just revealing myself to the world in my own way from changing my own bed, changing the world from my bedroom. So what happened there was I have been brought up with teenagers. And I had, I had seven children all together. Not all mine, biologically, but they're my children. And I've been brought, I have, I spent a lot of time with the youth. I know a lot about youth or youthful things of modern ways. I'm just classic. So she took me upstairs and I said, what are you doing on her? She had what you call a Xbox. And I said, what are you doing? Are you still on this bloody Xbox? She did it all night and one night during COVID. I'd gone to bed. Woke up the next morning, five o'clock, to do another 12-hour shift in the care home. And this little madam, I said to her, she, I bumped into her in the landing on the way out. I said, she up early. She went up early. She said, I'm going to bed yet. It's late. <laughs> That's a good girl. Well done. I said, she's got nothing else to do, so just get rest during the day. Not a problem. But she did explain to me about Fortnite. While you're playing with skins. So, like this morning, I was in my Darth Vader Yoda costume. That's a skin. Then now today, I've got my orange and black cat top on. <laughs> it's a skin. <laughs> so, yes, I, I, I do know how to do silver service, and I'm very good at going to posh restaurants. I used to go all the time when I was young, but my daughter, Laura, just thought I was a horror. She just thought I was just an act because she never realised who I was because she didn't know me when I was young because she was just young herself. She thought she was clever. <laughs> She's what we call a smart ass gola. And they don't, people that from my past didn't like to pay attention to actually who I was because what they were doing was trying to be me and steal from me and lie to me and cheat me. And what they did with that was miss how clever and amazing I was. Hmm, I know. So I've been very busy for the last 32 years. I know you thought I was lazy and not doing very much, but spiritually I've mastered myself and I'm a gangster upstairs. <laughs> Baby, I'm a gangster too, you don't want a man with me, man with me. Because I will kill you upstairs. Spiritually, I'll whip your ego to death. And if you've attacked me in my spiritual dreams again, you're going to get it. So spiritually, I would back the... I would back right off, children. Don't be coming to attack me spiritually ever again. You're banned for life. Flick of a net. And then the next thing I would say is physically, mentally, mentally. We'll go spiritual, mental is the next thing. Mentally, you're trying to play games with a Minecrafter. Remember the game Minecraft? The kids play on that. I'm just flicking their net as I go along, flicking around, web weaving, because I'm a web weaver, sewing the variety and spice of life. So what that would mean for you is you've been trying to mind map my brain, I believe, and trying to fry it, actually. And you thought I didn't know what's going on spiritually, but really, what is a shaman? How does a shaman grow? Mm. We're getting somewhere. Now you're understanding that a good shaman, I'm a medicine woman, not a shaman. Shaman's actually the man's role, I believe, anyway. That's just my prophecy, I like to say that. Because I think the men and the maestros, which are the DJs, and the, um, the shaman, whether I'm a medicine woman, gangster kind of three pack. So what that would mean is, it's the big reveal of Judgment Day that you've tried to mind map and play a Master 33 Ascended Master. Are you dribbling with excitement and calm? Are you coming? Are you coming to with excitement, or are you are you, ex are you are you coming with shock, or what are you dribbling for, sir? Is that is that is that a good thing or a bad thing? 
Depends on the devil or the angel, really, doesn't it? It's all an illusion. I told you I was the jester of the family, not the joker. So that would be the punishment for that because you've spiritually attacked me. Wow. You've mentally tried to mind map and control and steal from and turn insane a 33 master ascended master i'm ascended but i descended to come down to ascend again so i'm kind of like a jack-in-the-box but i ascended i descended to ascend to descend to ascend i know that's quite a shock to your system isn't it good bad and the ugly you're all sitting going wow <laughs> yeah wow so i just look it's all an act. I'm just, it's, I like drama. I'm an, also an actress. So then the other thing is, what you've done, which is, so you've, you've actually broken spiritual law. Spiritually speaking, you're in major trouble uh, with my father and the angels of downstairs and the angels and demons upstairs and downstairs. You will be mentally, physically attacked, spiritually, probably for the rest of your life. Mentally, you've messed with my brain, which is punishment by insanity. And then the other thing, the law and order, which we'd like to discuss today and get out of the way, because I'm the judge, I'm the law and order, really, is um, you physically touched me. Oh, no, that means R-A-P-E-D-D touched my body physically r-a-p-e-d i'm spelling it because i know it triggers people and i'm nice like that and i don't want to trigger people but <coughs> you have r-a-p-e-d'd me many times physically actually done that touched the physical vessel of my body You've mentally R-A-P-E-D'd me, mentally, and spiritually you've R-A-P-E-D'd me. Now that is a hat trick for you, because what you have now caused yourself is the one rule God has is touch not thy anointed. I was born anointed and appointed for this position. I'm the lion, the cat of the cats. Thundercat, striking of Zeus, kind of Thor, kind of ha, -ha kind of mix and blend of I'm everything here, nothing everywhere here, nowhere. So that would mean your judgment will be, well, spiritually speaking, because I only deal with the spiritual law, I'm just the law and order. But spiritually speaking, as I'm bringing it down to earth, what that means is you're going to jail spiritual hell of your cell calls cell cell we're made of cells so you're now in a spiritual hell of a cell condemned done i have one of these ruling over spiritual law is done i'm telling you now you're in spiritual hell of your cell of your hell of your well of your hatred of your own doing Okay, and now it's up to the J's of the kings, who are probably lawyers, doctors, and people who are really working for God here on earth, to take over and bring it down into the 3D of actual, whether you're going to do real prison time, whether you're going to be locked up in a mental hospital, whether you're going to be punished by, I mean, if you're living in the States. Do you live in the United States? Do they still have the electric chair, Daddy? The electric chair, Daddy, like they did in that lovely film. I used to love that film. The, uh... The, the Green Mile. I do believe one of my native brothers was in that film. I didn't know he was in that. I did, but I forgot. He's on my Facebook. Yes, I do. But hello, shout out to you, sir. That's for you. Because you've really been nasty to my native roots. I am an old soul. Way, way before Jesus died. I'm 26,000 years. I'm actually Aztec, which is technology of the Az as above so below and i'm really originally a, 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 well i'm an i'm an abba which is aboriginal which could be from australia 
I work with all 12 tribes and I'm the 13th number surprise of the skulls. And you try to crack my skulls, sir. Steal my skull. I'm a master. I'm a master in disguise because I am the lyrical gangster. And I'm a master of the 33s. 30, 15 on the clock. So I just thought I'd come and... You were expecting this to go a little bit differently and you were going to court and you were going to do what were you going to do? Sorry, no, I don't deal in 3D law. I deal in spiritual law. And I came down to give you the judgment today and your punishment by locked in your own cell of your hell of a wedge head. You are now spiritually bound and gagged. You are now not allowed into any of my people's mind, body or spirit. You are not. You are now bound to earth. You will be tied to earth forever because that's what you wished you loved earth more than you loved your creator, the maker, whatever you believe that to be. There's only one. Okay, yes, there's thousands of angels, yes, there's thousands of gods, and there's thousands of dead people. I know that. I'm aware of the demonology. I'm a demonologist. I'm a very aware of everything. You might notice I'm quite clever. 31.13 on the clock. That's reflections of the 3 of a 1 3. That's a 3 1 1 3. Master. Okay. So I hope you understand what I'm saying today. I hope I've done it in a, I'm not too aggressive for you. I hope I'm not too emotional for you. I hope it's not come across in any kind of offensive, fendy ways. But the, um, that'll be the order from the law of Ra from above. And now the people are, please do your jobs. Sending waves of love. It's like the old um oh what was that program called? I remember, I remember it. I can see it now on the screen. And the ladies used to do this. <laughs> so yes, you are now bound and gagged. You are not allowed in my space. You are banished from my 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 universe actually. And you will not come across me. If you see me in the street and you're not for the godliness and you're trying to attack me, you will be stopped. You're not allowed to speak to me, talk to me or breathe the same air that I am. Only God's people are allowed into my life from now on. That's what I want. That's what I decided. I am the law of my own ra of harm. I dance as I can do what I like. This is what I like. Neat, tidy, polite law and order. You're the judgmental one. I never said I was a pirate sailing asshole who deserved to be in a crack house. But when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Can you imagine if I was posh and I was living in the crack house? They would have eaten me alive, darling. So I can, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a chameleon. I'm not from the gecko. I'm not from the ghetto. I'm a gecko, which is a little lizard that hangs about. I'm going to go and see them in Ibiza again. I'm going to take my lover with me. I'm going to the drummer, the drumming beach. Yeah, we are. So, you're now banished from my life. And now, the God's people on the 3D plane of the Earth who have been ascended and working here, because they're ascended masters too. I'm not the only one, please. I'm not here to take all the glory. We work together as a team. It's called Collaboration and called Rainbow Warriors. Rainbow Warriors, we all work together. So my job is just to say this today. So I hope you've enjoyed my time today. It's been a pleasure sharing the time with you. This is my space. I'm not frightened to go outside. I'm not frightened to share my postcode and my address. Please come to my house. I'm not bothered. I'm nothing to hide. You're hiding because this is your property, I believe, madame. Why are you angry? Why are you shouting? I'm not. I'm passionate about human trafficking and eating of children. Okay. So I hope that goes okay for you today. And I again, I, I, I hope I haven't come across too aggressive and, and you now can start to see my true identity of the fact that I'm a very well spoken, very well brought up lady actually. But I'll repeat again, when in Rome one does as the Romans do. Okay. God bless. See you all soon and we'll see what tomorrow brings because today's an exciting day. Tomorrow's an exciting day. And now I'm going to go and catch up with my brothers and sisters because there's a lot going on in the circuit today of the circuit board of the megabytes, megabytes, wigabytes. Ooh, wicker, wicker. What a wicker bite. Wicked bite. So I'm going to just go now and uh, catch up. I do believe somebody's going to get arrested from the... I'm going to have to go and check. The cat house has done that, have they? I don't know now. That's how my psychic telepathy comes. Telepathy. 
is coming through. And I think when this is over, I'm going to go and buy myself a nice cinnamon coffee and a Greg's pasty. <laughs> Just a simple little thing like that. So that's, I'm happy where I am, loving my life, but I am detoxing. I know when you detox, I know if you do Ramadan, you'll know what it's like. And, and during the day, you're not allowed to eat until it gets to dusk. And it's like, oh my God, I'm starving. I can't wait to have my food tonight. So that's what I'm doing. It's just, I'm not suffering with food. No, it was never about that. It was a principle. You're a princi principality and I'm a principal. So the headmistress. Okay. So God bless you. Love you light and dark. World wide web is weaving away. Enjoy your day. I'll catch up later. I'm posting this on Facebook because I can't do it on my webinar because the old uh, YouTube's turned into a web. So I'm doing the webinars today of the teachings on your faces on my books. Gotcha. <laughs>